Hey guys, just shooting this quick demo video to give you an overview of the system. Um, so we're going to start off in the Instagram menu in the Find Influencers section. So if we go ahead and enter a niche or a search query, uh, select the number of results you want, and then we can choose some sorting options. So no sorting, uh, that just returns the 10 uh, results that our system determines are the best. Or you can sort by followers, which will return the 10 biggest results. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and search. Now this can take sort of 10 15 seconds, um, sometimes a little bit longer depending on how many search results you're going for. So, as you can see, it's returned uh, profile name, profile URL, number of followers, number of posts, date of last post, email listed, kick listed, save campaign, and deep dive. Um, if you click on an influencer's profile URL, it will open a new window or a new tab and take you directly to their Instagram profile. You can see here it shows you the number of followers that this particular influencer has. You can see the amount of posts they have, uh, the last time they posted. Um, if it's got an email listed, you can click on that email and you can send them an email all from inside the software. Um, a kick listed is handy because that allows you to go back to their uh, profile, grab their kick, add them on kick, and that way you can communicate with them. You can save them to a campaign. So we can save them to the fashion campaign and the ability to deep dive. Um, so deep dive basically does a really in-depth search on that particular person um, it will show you a breakdown of their 12 latest posts. It will show how many likes they have, how many comments they have, and it will also show you the engagement rates of each of these. Again, it shows you the number of posts, the number of followers, and also how many people they're following. Um, again, another option to save the campaign. All right, so if we head over to campaigns now, um, you've got the ability to create campaigns, or you can uh, view or delete them. So if we load up the fashion one, you'll remember I just added an influencer to it in the last uh, step. So what this does is it's going to bring up all of the influencers that we've previously uh, saved. It's going to have the same details, but these numbers here, these are all going to be live pulled. So what this means is it goes back and it checks, uh, you know, the last time they posted um, how many posts they've got, how many followers they, they've they've got, and all of that is live. Um, so it's, it's not saving those numbers. And again, you can deep dive from here as well. Um, we head over to email templates. It's very similar to the create campaigns. Um, you can create a new template, or you can view and edit a template, or you can delete one. Um, so if we open up this template, Again, it's just this, what you see is what you get sort of editor. Um, you can build your email out however you want, save it, and you can send those emails uh, back in one of the, the earlier options. Uh, next up we have the email analytics. Um, and as you can see, it will show you uh, when an, influ has op an influencer has opened an email, uh, what their influencer URL was and what email you sent it to. Uh, you can see we've got some handy graphs here to track how many opens you're getting weekly, monthly. Uh, you can also track your day-to-day -day statistics. And then finally we have the designer. Um, so this is a neat little uh, add-on for your customers where they can create brand new uh, images all from within the software. So they don't need to, you know, pay for Photoshop or anything else. Um, they can create it all from within the software. And then you can just save it, uh, save it in any format you want, and away you go. All right, so that's been a quick overview of the software. Um, I hope that gives you a better idea of what it can do. Awesome, thank you.